Hi everyone and welcome to my Minecraft Dinosaurs Let's Play. So, uh, I've been doing a lot of work here, working hard. I, I actually went mining. I got uh, quite a bit. Some, well, some biofossils, not quite a bit. Some. I got a lot of iron, um, tiny bit of gold, and that's about it. Biofossils and the relic scraps. That's what I got. So, what I did was I crafted an archaeology work table. And I placed it in here, so that should be working away. Look at our mammoths. They are just so cool. I love mammoths. They're my favorite so far. And look. Oh, I figured this out. Uh, bones. Someone told me in the comments, to make these guys bigger, we use bones. I was using bone meal in the last episode, or a couple episodes ago, sorry. And I didn't know. I thought it was bone meal. So it's bones. My mistake. So bones make those larger. All right, we got a Stegosaurus. Yay, and a Mosasaurus. Nice, DNA. And some sand. Who needs that? And some bone meal. Let's see what else we get. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, stuff I don't want. Stuff I definitely don't want. All right, well, this is done. I put the relic scrap. Actually, I was saving the relic scraps to place in the... What happened here? I thought I... Cra oh, I was going to write... Let's see. Wait, I'm confused what I was going to do. I was going to craft the archaeology table, work table, and I didn't do that. I thought I did that, and I didn't, actually. You know what? I left I left it. I was working, and then I left it for a couple days, so I actually forgot what I did. Let's put this biofossil here. Oh, that was one of these guys, the biofossil, because you could break these guys like, yeah, I see, and you get it back, the biofossil. Oh, and you get the bones back? Cool. So, oh, look at that. That's cool. Pterosaur. Look, so if I could do this and I make it larger, let's see how this works. Looks cool, big like this. Cool. Now if I hit it, oh, you get the bones back too, right? That's pretty cool. Let's see what we get this time. Oh, I don't want this guy. Sorry. <laughs> let's see uh, this one. I like the pterosaur. It's nice. Let's uh, make this bigger. Cool. Yeah, looks good. All right, I like it. Triceratops and pterosaur. Okay, we got lots of junk here. I'm not happy about that. Come on, give me some more DNA. Some more DNA. So let's go over to... Actually, I think I have something in here. I need to go get milk. That was the problem. Right. I need to get milk. That is a problem. Uh, I only have one cow at our original home, so I haven't gone back there. Um, I should get... I should actually have so much iron. I should, like, craft, like, you know... I don't know, 10 buckets and have them ready here for, um, so I could keep refilling uh, the, the, I was going to say culture vat. I always say that wrong, right? It's not culture vat. It's called, oh yeah, it is culture vat. <laughs> what did I kept call, I kept calling it something else in the last episode. I don't remember. So whatever. I kept calling it something else. Alrighty. So what do I want to do? I want to actually put this break, right. I want to make an archaeology table, right? So what was it? Um, I need crafting table and paper. Cool. There it is. I mean, archaeology work table. Sorry. Not table. Work table. So let's put that and see if we could repair some of these broken ancient items that I have. I think I have one helmet, right? And maybe two swords. The sword is supposed to be really cool. Um, I, I don't have one of those yet. And that's supposed to like, I think it like throws fire. But knowing me, because I'm a little slow with these things, I bet. Like I'll burn myself or something. So I really should be a little cautious and careful with that because uh, I don't think that'll work out too well for me. All right, let's place this here. And let's put our broken ancient sword. Cool. And I have a ton of relic scraps. So let's do that. All right, so let that cook up and see if we could get a nice ancient sword going here. Cool. All right, now we've got a ton of ferns, which fern seeds, which at this point, I re uh, by the way, I was reading the uh, wiki. Uh, the trace, uh, is it the Triceratops? Yeah. And there's some people in the comments that say it's not working. Like the Triceratops is not eating the ferns. If you know if it's actually worked with this last version, 004, let me know. But according to that wiki, people were commenting that it doesn't work right now. So it, what I mean is the Triceratops is not eating ferns. And I didn't see that earlier. And I, I took a lot of time to build that whole little fern farm for good old Gus there. Uh, I, I put those leaves up there. And how long did it take me to get the grass growing all the way? And he won't eat it. So what is the point of that? Come on, Gus. Eat the ferns. Ugh, driving me crazy. So our pterosaur is looking good. The only thing is all of these dinosaurs, um, I have to hand feed them. Oh, look. He has like a higher level of food than... The max. Weird. 
okay, I didn't know that could actually happen. Um, none of them seem to be eating from the feeders. So, makes me a little crazy. None of them. I have to hand feed all of them. So, actually, I don't know how Brachio's doing. Oh, by the way, I made this road. That's what I wanted to show you. So, this road goes around uh, Gus's uh, enclosure. And actually, it's going to go in this direction, too, as well. I'm just working on it still. So I made this path go in this direction. Actually, I'm going to put wood here on the side, sort of like a, I want to say like a little ledge kind of, and it's going to go along here, a ledge of wood, wood planks. And then I have it go, this is sort of like a bridge, which, which, which will be a real bridge. What I mean is I'm going to use wood to go down kind of like a scaffolding idea, idea scaffolding idea from the bridge, kind of, uh, kind of pillars or whatever from the bridge down. It's all going to be wood. So that's my idea. Hey, there's a Brachiosaurus man. He is big. He's awesome. I like him. <laughs> and the path goes over here, but I didn't finish. Been working on it still. So actually, I wanted to go. I wanted to go in two directions. I want to go to. I wanted to go to the left, and work its way around the pterosaur, because we're gonna have a lot more enclosures. Plus, hopefully, we'll have some water um, dinos, um, animals, whatever dinos. And so this is going to go to the right here and to the left. So to the right, it's going to go around the Brachiosaurus enclosure. And maybe I'll put another enclosure further away. Um, not further away, right next to Brachio here. Good old Brachio. Good old Brachio. Let, let me eat up, actually. I'm hungry. <laughs> All righty. So let's head up these stairs. Whoops. If I can get up here. And do I have? Yeah, okay. Let's see how he's doing on food. Ouch. He really shouldn't do that. Let's see how he's doing. Ooh, he's getting low. Ooh, it's good I came and checked up on him ch to check up on him because uh, not good. What am I doing here? Now watch this. This is a weird bug. I think I showed you before. Watch. See, I have four sugar, right? Goes to three. I I fed him. Two. One. But the last one will never disappear. Just keep feeding. I'm clicking and clicking until he's full. That's, see, okay, there he is. He's full. But that last sugar, oh, weird. Now I got four again. Oh, my gosh. That, look, he's full. And I got the four sugar back. That has to be a bug in this specific mod, right? It's weird. Really weird. I don't know why that happens. And it's not just with sugar. I notice it's every time I feed dinos, whatever I have to feed them, whatever their food is, the last piece doesn't disappear. It just stays there, like, um, weird, no? That block is scaring me that it's there, but I can't, I can't break it. I'm too high up because I don't want him, he can't step on there, right, and jump out. He doesn't look like the jumping kind of dinosaur. Maybe if there was like a prehistoric kangaroo or something, yeah, but <laughs> he doesn't look like he's going to, I think he's good in here. I think I might have to put this a little higher because I think it does have to be higher, actually. It mentions his eye height, right? I don't know. Well, so far he's in there. He has not escaped. I like this uh, this pathway. It's e an easier way to get back and forth to over here, like to this area than, than before. So looking good. A lot of landscaping I got to do. I've got a lot of work here. So, oh gosh, I have to cut these again. I'm always working on these. I have so much sugar cane. Look at this. Crazy. I keep picking it. And guess what? Keeps growing back. <laughs> All righty. Um, so let's go back in our... I want to say our welcome center. Let's call this our, I have to put a big sign here to like a park sign as well, like the entry to this area. So let us see how this is going. Let's see our, yes, we've got the ancient sword. Yes, that's a dangerous item for me to use. This is still waiting for me to get some milk. And how are we doing here? Oh, I grabbed everything. That was it. Okay, I guess I did everything. So we have a Mosasaurus and a Stegosaurus. Mosasaurus, I'm not so excited about because you know what happened to our last one. He didn't last too long. <laughs> but the Stegosaurus is pretty exciting. I am pretty excited about that. Cool. So let's see how this works, huh? You know what? I should try this, but I'm afraid because I'm afraid I'm going to, like, burn myself. But I've got some chicks here. <laughs> let's go down here. Whoa. Actually, you know what? First, let me just, um, uh, let me just, wait, let's move this over. And let's just pick some of these. Get some seeds for these nice little chickens that I have in this little coop. In my chicken coop. Oh gosh, I'm very bad at breaking these. I always break the one next to that I don't mean to. Ah. 
All right, let's just. In the end, I clear them all out. I said, oh, let me just break a few of these, and then I break all of them. All right, almost there. Look at those chickens are going. Oh, hey, buddy. How you doing? Thanks for joining. Oh, I see what you like. There you go. There you go. A little prize for you. Yeah, exactly 64 seeds. That's amazing. Are there any seeds? Okay, now I can replant. Okay, buddy. Out of the way. I don't have any more. I'm not holding weed out. Come on. Go away. Go away, sheepy guy. Where'd you come from, actually? I don't even know where he came from. There is one in the mammoth, right? There is still a sheep in the mammoth enclosure. I love those mammoths. They are cool. I wish I could put, like, a leash on one of them and walk around with them. <laughs> All right, we got this done. Cool. Let's check out the chickens. Where are the chickens? In here? Yeah. All right, now, let's see. Let me be careful without hurting myself because I'm very good at <laughs> hurting myself. All right, let's just feed some of these guys. Come on, buddies. Little baby chicks. Little baby chicks. There we go. All right, I think we're done here. So let's use our sword. Now, I just have to be a little careful because I could totally see myself, like, okay, from far away. Oh, no, I didn't mean to click it that way. There we go. A little fire. Whoa, whoa. No, what'd I do? What'd I do? No, jump in the water. Where's the water? Where's the water? There is no water. Here, here, here. Jump in the water. Ooh. Whoa, I am so, how could I do that? That was totally silly. <laughs> well, anyway, I didn't realize, I, the truth is I, did, I never used that and I didn't know it was that powerful. That's pretty cool, actually. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Wipe them all out. It's all right. I got a ton of eggs, I think. Oh, I hope I have a ton of eggs. Oh, my gosh, I need some. I need to get to, at least it could have left me, like, doesn't it leave cooked meat? I was kind of hoping it would just charbroil the chicken meat and I would have it all cooked in there, but no. All right, I have to be careful with this. I have to take this off my, yeah, I'm, that's scaring me. Whoops, that's scaring me. That sword is a little dangerous for me. Too much power for me. Do I have eggs? Oh, good. Oof. I was worried, actually. All right, that that sword, I'm just going to, I'm going to keep it here, but like at a distance right now. All right, let me just <laughs> see if I get some more chickens back. That was awful. Gosh, that wasn't smooth of me at all. Well, I really didn't realize it was that powerful. Luckily, I had that little bit of water <laughs> there <laughs> in the wheat farm. Oh gosh, that was crazy. All right, well, I guess I learned from my mistakes. All right, let's throw some eggs in there. Hopefully we get a couple chicks. Gosh, it wiped all of them out. Whoa, sorry, buddy. Wipe them all out. Come on, one more chick. Don't leave me just one. Come on, come on. Yes, good. All right, I'm happy now. Got two chicks. Yay. Oh, my gosh, that was horrible. That whole crazy fire ancient. That's too powerful for me. <laughs> Actually, though, I would like to try it on creepers and monsters and, like, you know, just kind of run away in time. So hopefully... Not in a closed little chicken coop like I did. Probably is not a good idea. Yeah, guys. So the good thing about my videos is you kind of learn what not to do. <laughs> so I think that's pretty good, actually. All righty. So let me put this away. And gosh, I have so much junk. Okay. What I do have to do is I want to get some milk. Oh, we have this pterosaur egg. I really should hatch that, actually. Um, I forgot I had that. Oh, and I have some more broken ancient uh, items. How's my armor doing? Yeah, I had just I had just created these because uh, my armor was all broken from all the creeper fights and everything. You could see my enchant level. I really should get an enchantment table going because um, I don't want to die and lose that right now. Brachiosaurus is full. Oh, good. Okay, yeah, he's full from before. Right. It saves those messages. I forgot. <laughs> All right, let me head off and get milk from, uh, actually, first, before I go, because I'll forget that I need some buckets. Actually, I have, like, all my iron here, so let me create some buckets. Um, let's go ahead and let's see what I have. What can I get rid of here? What? Uh, oh, I have a foot, too, I got. That's cool. All right, I think we're good here. And let's see what else we got. Let's just get rid of some stuff here. Make some room. Maybe I need to bring stuff back from my my first home, actually. Oh, good. We have a whole bunch of eggs, so no problem with chickens. No problem. Okay, and, oh, some raw chicken. Actually, this is good for the pterosaur, I think, eats raw chicken, right? I don't think so. Yeah, that's what I gave him the last time, raw chicken. 
raw chicken. But I should go fishing for him. I just haven't done it yet. So many things to do, so little time. Got to really build up this park. I guess that's what I was concentrating on now. I spent a lot of time making that silly little path that looks simple, but it takes me a lot of time to cook up the stone and, and all that stuff. So, all right. Um, what, what was I going to do? I was going to make a bunch of buckets. So, let's see. Uh, let's make... Okay, that's good for now. Let's make these. Um, let's make four, right? Four buckets. Now, I think I had another one somewhere. I think I had one bucket somewhere. But I don't see it now. Ah, I had three buckets. Yay. All right, that's good. I'll go back and I'll go back to my... Let's see if I can get rid of some of this stuff. Actually, uh, the sugar and the bones I don't need to carry with me. And I'll just, also the eggs. All right, so we'll keep that all here. And I'm going to head back to my, I built that tunnel. So let me use my tunnel. Actually, I forgot I had the tunnel because I haven't gone back to my home in so long. I've been building here and I completely, I haven't gone back. So I can use my tunnel. That's good. So this way if it becomes nighttime on the way, I don't have to worry. Let's eat up here. I can make a lot more bread. I have so much wheat. So food's not a problem at this point. In the beginning it was, but here we go. My tunnel. I did take you through, I think so. Okay. Oh, I still didn't come down here to get this. I went to a different area, and I went to a really nice cave and did some... Where's my tunnel at? Where's my tunnel at? Wait a second. I'm, I'm lost. I'm confused now. Uh, oh, right there. Sorry, it was right next to... Right, here we go. Oops. This way. Yeah, I got a little lost there. Here we go. All right, well, I have a long way to go, so I don't want to bore you with my tunnel, but there is a long way to go here. So uh, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, almost there. So I just want to show you I am almost there, just <laughs> arriving kind of. It takes a long time. Got to get a rail system here. That'll make it a lot easier and more fun, actually, to ride. Here we are. Made it back. Yay. Did I leave anything in here? No. I just want to make sure. Did I leave anything in here? Anything? Nah, nothing. All right, just want to make sure. I didn't leave anything. What do I have here? Oh, I have another foot. Three feet. Three feet. <laughs> foot. Uh, yeah, I got a lot of stuff here. I really should. Well, I'm going to leave this here. It's safer here right now. And uh, actually, let's bring the skull stick with us, actually. And I'm going to get some milk. So let's grab all these buckets. Hey, buddy. How you doing? I really need to find your friend. Sorry. I really should have a bunch of cows, actually. I could have a whole cow farm going. So I have to lure some other cow over here. Um, let me just make sure I didn't have anything else. Uh, nope, I think we're good. Actually, I could use these. This is good. This helps a lot. And I'm going to grab some more cobble from here to cook up. And I think we're okay. Actually, you know what? Leave that work in here, right? No, I'll take it with me. And one last thing, um, someone mentioned this skull, let me just check this out a sec, um, that I could wear this, right? Let's see. No, I can't. Someone said I could wear this. Oh, no, you can't. You can't wear it. I don't know why. Someone said in the comments you could wear it, like, not, you know, and I can't wear it, so. Oh, well, I thought I'd try. I thought it would be cool, actually, if I could, but no. doesn't seem to work. What if I just place this, I want to see, without the lantern thing. Oh yeah, that looks cool. I like it. That for decorating like um, like the entry of the park would be kind of cool. I have a bunch of these already, so I'm going to leave that there now, but that looks really cool. All right, I'm heading back to the park. So I will stop the video again so you guys aren't bored of me going through this boring cobble little passageway. So I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so I'm back, and now we can use our culture vat. So let's go ahead and grab this. Cool. So that's working, right? I hope so. Let's see. Oh, good. We have relic scraps left over. Yeah, there we go. It works real slow, that culture vat. All right, let's use these relic scraps. I mean, I could repair more items, but for now, let's just see if we get something good. Hopefully, we get some more DNA. This is something that now at the beginning of the game, you know, we're only what, like 19 episodes? I need I need to get as much DNA as possible. I want to get like a huge amount of, of dinos and animals or whatever in the park. So let's 
It's going to take a while. All right, so... Oh, I better eat up. Actually, what I wanted to do is create a chest there with for all the milk that I have in that... Right, let me go ahead and grab some wood because I know I have quite a bit of wood. Let's grab some wood. Cool. Okay, and let's go ahead and make a couple chests here. Oops. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's not one of my... Actually, you know what? That's a good idea. Actually. <laughs> my gosh, I don't know what I was thinking. Instead of making a chest, I made a crafting. But you know what? That's good. I'll have it in here. Just I don't have to keep coming back and forth. Um, but eventually, I want to place chests in here and make this larger. I hope I can make this like bigger. Okay, so let us actually put the crafting table down. Let's put it right... Uh, let's put it here. Alrighty. And let's make um let's make a couple of chests. One big chest is good for now. And let's see, I can place it right here, right? Perfect. Cool. So let me put the milk here so we have it ready for the culture vat at all times. And that's good for now, I think. Oh, actually let's keep the DNA there too. Alrighty. And I'm gonna keep the foot there too. <laughs> The three foot feet, whatever. <laughs> How are we doing here? Oh, gosh, the relic hasn't given me anything. Am I messing with that? Is that not supposed to be for giving me DNA? I think I got DNA from that, but it's just not giving me anything, the relic scraps, only the biofossils. So I don't know. Maybe I'm not even supposed to. Maybe the relic scraps are not. I have to make a bed in here, actually. I think I have a lot of mammoth wool. I could get some more. It's pretty cool when you shear them, how funny they look, actually. Their legs show. It's really funny. All right, let's head off to sleep. Go th get through the night safely. Now, let me see Gus. Let's check out Gus. Um, gosh, I got to make some more food. For me, I mean. Uh, let's see. All right, actually, let me grab. Oh, he can use some food, actually. Let me get some. He eats wheat, right? I think so. Let's go get some food for him so he's all happy and stuff. And let's see what we got. We got some wheat. And what I wanted to grab was, let's see, what do I got here? Oh, some sticks. Okay, let's, let's try this. Let's see if I got this right. Alrighty. Not really sure about this. First, let me feed him a little bit. There we go. See, feeding him. Oh, oh, buddy. Right in my face. Got that Triceratops nasty breath, buddy. Whoa. Whoa, brush your teeth. It's awful. All right. No, I don't want to use this. Let me move this away because <laughs> I can totally see myself blowing myself up and my dinosaurs with that. Um, Let's see. Okay. Yeah. All right, Gus. Uh, we could go for a ride. Now, how do I control you? Do I need? Now, what I'm not sure, can I just use like, whoa. Okay, this is just to order him, but okay, that's not working. I think I need to make a whip, right? Oh, this doesn't work, does it? No. No. Let's put stay. Okay, now let's actually, I need to take this off my inventory. Oh, ouch. Ooh, that's not smooth. Let's try making, you know, I didn't see that in the wiki, but I'm guessing if I make a whip... How do I make a whip? Uh, did you do... I only have one. No, I have more string. I have more string somewhere. Don't worry, don't worry. Oh, I got a lot of string. Wow. How was the whip? Um, I think it's like this, right? Am I right? Yes. Awesome. All right, let's try this. Now, supposedly, also, he breaks blocks. So, like, if you ride him, that's what I understood. Whoa. All right, I'm moving. But I'm not going very far because I can't get out of this enclosure. Oh, but I moved a little bit. Oh, you see, I can move backwards. Oh, he's too big for this. And I can't. Oh, okay. Turn. I'm turning. Oh, I'm totally dizzy already. He's making me dizzy. But we can't get out of here, huh? Now, according to the wiki, he breaks blocks. Like if I was riding him, I'm supposed to break blocks, but I'm not breaking any. And I didn't adjust the config because you could actually adjust the config file for that. So... Or I don't know if it's a config or you're supposed to type in something. Ah! Like but anyway, I have never adjusted it. So, hmm. Looks pretty cool, actually. Um, 
Let's see. Let's see. Cool. Oh, I like it. I'm looking cool. Oh, this is great for I should do a screenshot. I like it. But I can't get him in it as well. It's kind of like just me. Cool. I like this. But it's not working out for me only because um, there's no room in here. See, I'm moving to the side as you can see. I'm not really doing very much. Oh, I could jump up. Look, guys, I could jump up. All right, that's an improvement. So basically, I mean, he is tamed. I can take him out of here. Or I can make a big opening for him. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, what I'll do is somehow make a big opening in this, and whoa, ouch, in this enclosure. Like, instead of just having this little door, make a large opening and see if he can get out, and I can ride him around. That would be fun. What happened to this glass up here? How did that disappear? But anyway, that'll be my next goal, to make a big opening and hopefully won't destroy the whole enclosure, but, you know, we can get in and out, and we can ride him around. That would be kind of cool. Maybe then I could go exploring riding him. That would be neat, actually. I know, everybody wants me to ride the pterosaur. I'm really afraid because I think I'm going to be a bad flyer. But also, it's not just that. I have to build uh, some type of ramp, like going up like a, I want to say, I have to build some kind of structure that goes up high and you could just kind of jump off. That's supposedly how you get the pterosaur going. All righty, uh, let's head back and check the DNA. See how that's doing. Oh, I got to make some bread too. It's good I have a crafting table now in here, even though I didn't mean to craft that. <laughs> All right. How are we doing in here? Um, actually, let's... Oh, it's done. Good, good, good. All right. We've got some more mammoth, even though I don't need because I could just uh, breed them by feeding them, but that's okay. Um, let's go ahead and grab some more DNA here. What do we got? Let's do the Stegosaurus. That's the one I'm excited about. And we need some milk. Let's go back to the culture vat. I actually should craft a more, some more culture vats, actually. Uh, Stegosaurus. There we go. All right. So we'll leave that. That'll be our next dinosaur, Stegosaurus. Okay, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed the episode. Please leave a, leave a like if you did. It's, it really helps me out. And, uh, you know, it just makes my day. And if you've never seen my videos, you can click on subscribe. Whoa, whoa, these guys are like adequate. Oh, little babies. They are so cute. I just can't get over how cute the little babies are. Little baby mammoths. All right, so we're going to have a whole army of mammoths here. We're going to have a ton of them. Cool. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.